Hi, I'm Pastor Darren, and welcome to Word for the Week. I want to talk to you today about our beginnings, and more specifically, our ending. We know from the story of Adam and Eve, how they gave into temptation, and ate from the tree of the fruit of knowledge of good and evil. The one tree out of all of Eden, they were told not to eat. They gave into temptation. And that temptation brought consequences that you and I bear today. One of them we see in Genesis 3, verse 19. By the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. Now, that's not a very gracious-looking outlook. However, it is the reality that you and I have inherited because of the sin that came into the world through Adam and Eve. The good news is, though, that when we give our life to Christ, we bypass all of that. We are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, who paid the price for our sin so that we could be free to live eternally with Him. Yes, this body will eventually return to dust, but our spirit will live on with the Lord. So knowing the limited time that we have, knowing the uh, vulnerability that we have, how do we live our lives? This week, take some time and consider like Adam and Eve, are we continuing to rebel and give our lives over to temptation? Or are we living faithfully? Are we walking in the light? Are we staying true to God who created us? We don't know, as we've said before, how much time we have. We know that from the dust we came, and to the dust we will return. So think long and hard this week. Pray and be diligent in your faith. Walk in the Spirit. Walk in the newness of life that Christ has granted each of us who call on Him as Savior. We want to be ready when He returns. We don't want to be cut off guard. We want to be faithful in all things. After all, from dust we came, and as we said, to dust we will return. I'm Pastor Darren. That's your word for the week. God bless and, and have, have, and a, have wonderful a wonderful day. A wonderful day. A wonderful day. A wonderful day.